and we're back and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to fix red eyes in Adobe Lightroom. Here's a very extreme example, but well, we can even fix such extreme ones. Just use the brush tool, start a new brushing with the plus sign up here, hold control, use your mouse wheel and you can change the size of your brush, make sure the feathering is not too big. When you right click and cycle through the overlays, you can see what overlay I've just painted. If I hover over the center point, and now I'll adjust it. Most important for us is the saturation. In this extreme example, I'll just go down with it as far as I can. Let me cycle through the overlays and I'll hide the overlay. So you should do that as well, and now you can see the effect in real time. Clarity, you want to go up with it in most cases, and the haze as well. So these three alone help a lot. And you wanna add the exposure function as well, but you wanna go down with it. As I've said, we've got a very extreme example, so I have to save what I can. Sometimes it helps to go down with the temperature as well. So make it more bluish. And you can add the function blacks and shadows, go down with it. And maybe add some whites and highlights. But in most cases, you are done when you use the saturation, the exposure, and the dehaze and clarity. So these four are the most important. Let's just say you still got some details like I do here. Make sure you've got, uh, let me zoom in first. So I close the brush and then I zoom in. You can see it's not the best resolution. But when you have it here, make sure you cycle through the overlays until you've got the center point, click on it. And now this brush is selected, which means that you are adding now to the last brushing. Use a smaller size and then paint over the edges of the circle that I've created with the, with the previous brushing. And here's a comparison. So we could save a lot here. And in cases where it's not that extreme, you can easily use Lightroom instead of Photoshop to fix the red eyes. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.